Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Plus. Today we're featuring Savvy's Telmithrim Bedroom. Let's check out the map. Here we are at Telmithrim, which is part of the Dragonborn DLC on Solstheim. You'll arrive at Raven Rock, and then in the nearby area you have Fort Frostmouth, a Sunstone, and then you'll arrive where the property is at Telmithrim. When you first arrive, you'll notice that it looks like a strange land of mushrooms. You'll want to take the path up the middle mushroom, which is the biggest one. A room can be found within a new location inside of Telmithrin. We'll go through these hobbit doors, and when we do, we'll want to float up to the main level of the home. This is Talvis. He is a potential follower, and he lives here. And this is Master Neloth. He's perhaps the greatest wizard you'll ever meet. This is his home, too. Check out the cool lighting and ambiance this place already has. They have two arcane enchanters, lots of books, and dwarven medals that you can take after you befriend Master Neloth. And after you do some quests for him, you gain access to this cool room with a staff enchanter. After all, he did invent it. Okay, when we go back to the main entrance, right above that staff enchanting room, you'll find a new set of stairs that wasn't there previously. When you climb the set of stairs, you'll have another one of those hobbit doors. This is the entrance to Savvy's Tomithrim bedroom. Check out this mini Gilder Green tree the mod author put in, and those are Dovenik's diverse dark elf lanterns in case you're wondering what mod I'm using. There are some death bells underneath the tree, and you've got a little candlelit area with a throne to sit in and admire your beautiful room. And then as we turn towards the front door, I'll turn the lantern on so you can see a little bit better. There's the hobbit door. You've got some static decoration, which are those bookshelves. And then next to that, you have your arcane enchanter, and it has a cool custom model with the black book over it. I've always liked that moving text effect on the black books. That looks really cool. Here's your office area, and it looks like they have a death brand treasure map posted on the wall, as well as a shout out to many of the other unique quests on the Dragonborn DLC. And look at those floating books from Apocrypha. Very cool. Over here, you've got another custom modeled alchemy lab with another black book included in the design. And then as we turn, we've got a candlelit shower, and that's to wash away all of your sins from your different journeys. Okay, after you get out of the shower, it looks like you've got a little changing area over there and some more static decor with the bookshelves. That little room opening right there goes to the bedroom, but we're not ready for that quite yet. Looks like you've got some scathe crow and a vase and more of those bookshelves. And then this is the Shrine of Azura and it gives you 10% magic resistance. That about rounds out the room, but we're gonna take one more spin around the room just to put everything into context and so you can see everything without me stopping and starting and showing you different things. Here's the other side of this doorway one more time. And now we're ready to head into the bedroom. And look at these ornate curtains. And then you have a lot of these cool rugs on the floor too. And the mod author actually suggested downloading the mod Arminian Carpets and Rugs. And his screenshots look really good with them, even better than that. Okay, over here you've got some more static decor, which is that cabinet with the gleam blossom. Then there's a wardrobe. It looks like you have a little reading area in the floor. You have some urns for storage. There's a few strong boxes, and those are El Sopa strong boxes in case you're curious. That just came out recently. There are some more urns for storage, a little bedside table, and then a nice large double bed. And then we're gonna go ahead and take a spin back the other way just so you can see everything one more time. And it's neat that he thought to put in some windows to break up that mushroom texture a little bit. Now that we've seen everything, it's time for final thoughts. When you leave the comfort of your home in Skyrim, you'll need a place to stay. The mod author made this room so their wizard character didn't have to sleep on the floor like the original DLC intended. Now you can benefit from their work with a proper room of your own. I hope you like this one. This concludes our tour of Savvy's Telmithrim Bedroom. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and leave a comment with your thoughts. To see more of my past tours, click the playlist on the top left. To see my future content, click the channel icon on the bottom left to subscribe. And to never miss an episode, click the bell icon to receive notifications of when I post. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next episode.